Hi there, it's Nicole for Lawn Fawn, and today I have an interactive magic picture changer card featuring the Get Well Before and Afters stamp set. This is a super cute stamp set for anyone who's under the weather or maybe recovering, and it makes a really cute uh, design no matter what images you decide to use. I'm going to use the whale today and I'm going to use the magic picture changer to change the picture from sick to well. Let's start by building our background. I knew I wanted to create an underwater scene and I want to create the illusion that the magic picture changer while interactive is not separate from the rest of the design. So I want it to really blend in. We're going to start with some mermaid lawn fawn cardstock and some lawn fawn fishtail ink applied to this mermaid cardstock using the life changing blending brushes. This is a great way to add regular dye inks to a card without getting any big blobs of ink. I find that it applies the ink really beautifully and this gives a fantastic tone on tone look. Along the bottom edge of our card, we will be using some stitched waves from Lawn Fawn, but up near the top, we don't want to cover up the top of the card, nor do I really want to put die cuts back behind because you're going to lose all of that detail. So I'm only going to be applying the die cuts along the bottom edge of the card, but yet this still gives the illusion of water and waves and that underwater scene that I'm looking for with this card design. I'm going ahead and adding the ink all over the surface of this cardstock because we want the magic picture changer to be part of the background and really blend in. I'm actually going to be die cutting the cover for my magic picture changer, the magic picture changer add-on, so the cover that fills the entire front panel of this from my background. So not only are we going to use the frame, but we're going to use that border that we die cut the frame from for a card front and it's just going to match perfectly because we're die cutting it from this background. I'm going to go ahead and take my die. I'm going to use a little repositionable tape to tape this in place and I want to center it, kind of eyeball it and get it as close to the center as possible. And then we want to die cut this from the background. Then I'm going to go ahead and set this aside and we will come back to it when we're ready to assemble our magic picture changer. We need to stamp our two scenes, the before scene and the after scene. So the before scene will have the sick whale and the after scene will have the well whale. And once we have that assembled and the magic picture changer is ready, we can put the whole card together. When using the magic picture changer, you're going to need a full eight and a half inch tall piece of cardstock. I think like by three and a half or four inches should be wide enough. I always start with a bigger piece than I need just to make sure that I have enough room to die cut the entire element. I'm using my magic picture changer then and the stitched wave border to position where my whale's going to go. I'm going to go ahead and stamp both the inside and outside scenes at the same time because both are going to feature a fish. I'm using two different fish. They're very similar. Just one faces right and one faces left. One is from the Lawn Fawn Dunna stamp set, the one, the little mini stamp set with the shark. And the other one is from the Sublime stamp set that has all kinds of underwater critters and images. And I'm mixing and matching my stamp sets today. I purposely went through them trying to find fish and coral and all the things to help build my underwater scene. So I have stamped now the front panel for my magic picture changer. And I'm going to go ahead and as I mentioned, I generally just go with a bigger piece of paper because I feel more comfortable that way. I use the scraps up later when stamping and coloring small images. So none of the paper is really going to waste. And this time I'm simply going to leave my fish, remove the sick whale, replace it with the well whale, and then some little um, water coming out of its 
spout at the top, and we're gonna stamp those images all together. Once we have both of our stamped panels, we can color these in. When you're doing the Magic Picture Changer, the images that change have to be stamped flat. You cannot use the coordinating dies or the Magic Picture Changer won't work. So in order to do this, I want the background to be blue. I want everything to coordinate really well with this card. Remember we stenciled the background and we stenciled the frame for the Magic Picture Changer so it all coordinates. I'm drawing a little pencil line here so I know what area I actually need to color, what's gonna be visible in the front of my card, and I'm going to color in the background, the blue area of the water with my Copic markers. And I started with my backgrounds first. Both are gonna be colored exactly the same. We're doing just several shades of blue, darker at the top and the bottom, and then lighter in the middle. We're gonna use a colorless blender to add bubbles. These colors really match the Mermaid cardstock and then the Simon Says Stamp Island Blue cardstock that I'm using for my card today. So we just wanna get all that color on here really well. You can see I'm not being super particular around the edges because that part is never going to be seen. And then with the colorless blender, it's gonna just remove some ink from the background. I'm gonna draw in some little gentle waves with my markers, blend those out so that they're not quite so harsh. And then we can color in our whale and our fish. So the fish are gonna be YR 31, 24, and 27. And with YR27, we will be adding some little dots to the fish to give them some fun texture. The fish and then accessories are gonna provide the pops of color on this, um, as well as the coral along the bottom edge of the card. The whale is in shades of gray with warm gray one, four, and six, so really neutral and the red pops of color throughout the card for um, the bag on his head, the little hearts that we're gonna use, the arrow for our magic picture slider, those all add just a really great little pop of color. And then of course the yellow orange color combination of all the fish we'll be adding. The thermometer is going to be in shades of green. I did a minty green for those to make it much different than the blues we're using with G00 and G02. And again, just colorless blender accents here and there. Anywhere I wanna lighten up the background or add some detail, add some bubbles, anything like that. I worked on the background quite a bit for the first scene, and after I got comfortable with it, the second one went together much quicker. And here's those thermometer colors and the top of the little bag. Let's go ahead and temporarily tape the Magic Picture Slider front over our scene. I'm gonna line that up with my pencil lines I drew earlier. Tape this in place. I can run it through and then I want to color the inside. So I've already colored the fish and the whale in the background. Um, we're gonna color in the water droplets. We're gonna draw in our waves just like we did before and then we are going to line this up with the pull tab and we'll pop both of these pieces out after we've die cut them. Now comes the part where we put the magic picture changer together. So I want to take this part, this is going to create the little track that changes the picture. I'm gonna fold it in half, that notch part goes up at the top. I'm gonna to use my bone folder to score this well. Now the sides are so, so super narrow and they can be a little tricky to bend down. I'm gonna show you what I've been doing that makes it a little easier. I'm gonna take a score pal, and I'm actually just gonna rescore those lines a little bit more deeply than what they are when they run through the die cutting machine. I'm going just directly over the score lines. I'm lining it up with one of the tracks in the score pal and just deepening that, and it made 
bending these tracks in so much easier, you guys. So I highly recommend just going over those with a stylus or something to get that to bend a little better because this works much easier than if you don't. And then I like to use my bone folder to really make sure those are nice and um, scored, pressed down. We're gonna open them up and put one eighth inch score tape or the Lawn Fawn double-sided adhesive down the side and then along the top side. So four pieces of score tape. We're gonna remove the score tape from the front and we're gonna bend in each of these sides that we just worked on and this is our track for the Magic Picture Changer. I like to go over it with my bone folder because it just makes a nice clean edge. We're going to go ahead and put the Magic Picture Changer in and tuck the notches into the corresponding notch. And we can slide that, that looks good. It's working like it's supposed to. I'm gonna open it up, make sure it's straight and it's within the track. Remove that double-sided adhesive and shut my magic picture changer. And then again, go over it with my bone folder to make the, sure the adhesive is nice and secure. And then you can see that magic picture change, it works perfectly. We can replace the cover now, and that hides any of the ugly coloring along the sides and gives it a nice clean look. Yay, so much fun. Okay, so we have all of our elements now. Let's go ahead and add our sentiment. I could have stamped it directly to the Magic Picture Changer, but I opted instead to die cut a separate banner with a fancy folded banner die from Lawn Fawn. This is die cut from Simon Says Stamp Island Blue cardstock. We're taking sentiments from that Get Well Before and Afters and stamping Get Whale Soon, very fun punny sentiment. And then we will heat set this with white embossing powder so it really pops off of that dark blue cardstock, but yet still coordinates and complements the design. And then I'm just gonna fold the banner into shape. Let's go ahead and put adhesive around the outside part of our background and glue that in place onto our white card base. Our magic picture changer, we can put the cover on the front, make sure the notch lines up with the notch up at the top. There is a right and a wrong way for that magic picture changer add-on. And then I find it's easier to adhere some foam adhesive or use some foam adhesive on the back of this. It gives your fingers a little spot to grab hold of that tab and pull that up and out for the magic picture changer to move. So I've put some adhesive on that we're gonna put some double-sided or some uh, foam adhesive along the bottom edge because we need this layer to pop up too since the Magic Picture Changer pops up. And I've already die cut some stitched wave borders from Island Blue cardstock and the Lawn Fawn Mermaid cardstock that we can adhere along the bottom edge. I've got my tab that goes at the top of the Magic Picture Changer. This is important because it also serves as, as a stopper. It's wider than the the pull part and so it makes it stop up at the top and I'm going to position it with the arrow on the front and I'm going to inlay a red die cut arrow into this to really let the recipient know that there is an interactive element. We're simply replacing our magic picture changer into that area we die cut previously and then we're layering on our stitched wave borders along the bottom edge. Look how cute that is you guys. It works perfectly, so much fun. We're gonna add just a little bit of ink to the mermaid die cut border so it coordinates a little bit better with the rest of our card design. So I'm just adding some of that fishtail ink here and then we'll glue this border directly to the island blue border on our card. And now it is finishing detail time. So we're gonna add our sentiment our banner up at the top. We also want to add any extra details to our card. In this case, I want to have some coral and seaweed and extra fish, um, even some little hearts because that's gonna add some a nice little red touch to the card design. And we wanna scatter those throughout the rest of the design to add to that underwater feel. 
and we need to inlay the arrow in the top of our pull tab. Now for the remaining images, they are all from either the, mostly the Sublime stamp set and also that Dunna stamp set, the shark stamp, stamp set. And I have stamped and colored a few fish here. I did do more than what is shown. Um, the larger fish image, I only did one of him and then the rest are all the smaller ones either facing right or left. I did plenty of these because I wanna scatter them all throughout the background. I want to really fill it in with lots and lots of fish and lots of color to give the card a more cohesive look and effect. We're gonna die cut all of these elements with the coordinating Sublime Dunna stamp set or dies, and then we can glue them in place onto our card. We're going to have some of the fish poking out from the waves. We're gonna have our coral and our little greenery, seaweed and things along the bottom edge of the card. We wanna make sure we fill in with plenty of fish all over. Some are gonna be on the edge of the Magic Picture Slider. Make sure you don't adhere anything directly to the interactive part, but around the frame is absolutely fine. Um, have some tails sticking out of waves, sticking out from um, the side of the frame. They're gonna be all over this frame. It's really gonna fill it in nice. I also went in and added black detail to all the eyes, including the eyes on the Magic Picture Changer. Just make sure you let that sit and completely dry before you open the Magic Picture Changer and add the detail to the eyes on the inside and then leave that until the ink is completely dry. It does take just a little bit. I'm going to take some bubble images from both the Sublime and Dunna stamp sets and stamp those onto my card with a clear ink and emboss with the Lawn Fawn white embossing powder. And then we'll fill those in with glossy accents as well once we have those embossed to give it the look of some bubbles. The little heart is from Sublime. I don't think I shared that in the video maybe. Um, I stamped it three times, colored it in with the red Copic markers. That would be our 35 and 37 die cut it with the coordinating die and then we're going to just pop those throughout our card as well. I finished the hearts with glossy accents so that they would be nice and shiny. For the inside of the card I stamped some additional sentiments from the get well before and afters using a fishtail ink. And that finishes off the inside of the card so that it really complements the front. We're gonna take a look at the interactive element again. I'll show it to you in real time so you can see how great that works and just how much fun this magic picture changer is. So here is a look at that. There's an inside of the card and then you pull the tab and it changes to the well whale. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this interactive Get Whale Soon card featuring Lawn Fawn stamps and dies. The supplies I used to create my card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Lawn Fawn stamps and dies that you might be interested in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll see you next time.